and we go like this in a little bit of a more of an oval. I was not very good at geometry, but it's more of it's let's do an oval because it circles back around. Okay. That I mean that's the point. Um so anyway I'm gonna start off because apparently ladies first, which you know I said no to because you know I need to go way before Brian goes. Do you want to go now? I'll go now. Um no. Okay. Need Relax. It. Enjoy. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start. Uh, I'm gonna start off. My name is Cassandra, by the way. For those of you who don't know me, um, I'm gonna start off with uh, with a song about a dog. Um, briefly, briefly, uh, I was. Uh, I happened to have acquaintance with uh, this this man who used to frequent uh, the establishment that I work at, which happens to be a shack on the water that serves fish. Fantastic, JT's on the bay. Go. Um, also, <laughs> so he comes in and he always brings his dog, and uh, we, we we're kind of we allow dogs there, but it's not, whatever. So this guy's a uh, you know comes in and he's super uh, paranoid about pretty much everything that goes on in life to the point where we have plastic tables and he ducks under the plastic table if a plane flies overhead because he really believes that the FBI and the CIA, beyond all the other things that they have to do in life, are after him specifically. So, he has a dog named Hope, which I thought was ironic. So, uh, I actually <laughs> wrote this song as a joke to uh, kind of do an anecdote about this guy, and it just so happens that I, I wound up really loving it. So, uh, this is called Hope. <laughs>
respected us, but hope never neglected us. Still, we never learned his name. When is he not enough to sell our love? in case you did know. <laughs> um, <laughs> in any event, um, this is my most recently completed song. Um, it's based on something kind of specific. I was reading a um, biography of Tom Waits sometime last year, and uh, there's about a five-year period in the 90s where he took off from writing and recording just to lead a uh, kind of just uh, domesticated life with his kids and everything. And he had to stop by one of his kids' uh, classes to drop off either homework or lunch or something like that. And uh, the kid came to him later that day and told him, uh, Dad, all the kids at school say you're a freak, you know, you're <laughs> top of your, your pants, you know, are hanging way low down, <clears throat> you know, all, you know, like your underwear is showing, your hair is all messed up, what, you know, why can't you just adjust that or whatever? And then <laughs> Tom Waits told a short little fable about the straight, cro uh, straight tree and the crooked tree. He's like, uh, the crooked tree and the straight tree existed side by side. Um, the crooked tree fell alienated, no one felt drawn to it, and uh, the straight tree had all of the advantages, but one day it was cut down to make toothpicks, and uh, the crooked tree was um, allowed to grow stranger and stronger with each day. So upon reading that, I was like, uh, my first thought was, that's beautiful, there's a song in that, and uh, my second thought was, should I wear a belt? <laughs> so anyway, uh, the title of the song is Crooked Tree. <laughs> Here on the hills 
side there is a crooked tree Not much you say, but tell me what else should it be A pine that points toward the sky in the April fall Only to be toppled by Lumberjack song Lumberjack song And a storm might come and take me to the ground But not today Travis started with a uh, fairly new song. I'm going to start with one of my fairly new songs as well. Um, I've written ones. I've written some songs since since then, but um, the song was written on Valentine's Day. I was uh, down at the coffee shop down the road that I host an open mic at, and, and I hang out there a lot. So um, I was there by myself, and it was Valentine's Day, and I was expecting to have a Valentine. I didn't. So, um, as you're going to learn, a lot of these songs are about girls and romantic mishappenings and a lot of different things that happen in Brian Gallo's life. So, um, anywho, so ironically enough, this song's called Tears Never Come. So, here it is. Try my eyes. 
A hot cheap box of chocolates and a single glass of wine. A double bed and a paper bag to help to pass the time. I wonder if I'll ever find a place that feels like home. I need someone to break my heart cause the tears they never come. Would you come and break my heart cause the tears they never come. some more in the clubs and stuff? That'd be awesome. I think it actually resonates pretty well. Yeah. So I don't even need a drummer. You can just come with your guitar and yeah, 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 add yeah, a percussion. Totally, totally. I'm the best drummer on the island. <laughs> 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 Not really. Um, okay, so...